Okay, so since we had a question about currency support, let me show you how it works in Dynamics CRM. So if you go to settings, go to business management, you'll see currencies are here. And if you're a system administrator, you can simply add currencies. Here's, here's the new currency. Here's where you add a new currency. Every organization has a base currency. And my organization that I'm working with here in CRM Online, it's got a base currency of US dollars. So everything else is going to be defined with respect to this base currency exchange rate, which by definition, dollars to dollars is always one. So if I was going to add another currency, I select from this list, and here's the ones that you get. And if I was going to add the, uh, the Albanian lek, okay, not that I know the exchange rate. If I was going to add this, and maybe the exchange rate's 5,280 uh, lex to a dollar, the administrator can add currencies and update exchange rates. Now, let me show you what the impact of that is. If I go to sales, if I click new, make a new opportunity, notice opportunity, the built-in transaction records have the currency that's a selectable lookup field on the opportunity entity. If I select this now, notice Euro, like all the currencies that I've got turned on for this organization are selectable here. And I'll say uh, Euro opportunity just so I don't forget it. it. makes it real obvious. This is a Euro opportunity for, and let's make this user provided. Notice estimated revenue is now in Euros. Now the key thing here is a thousand Euro opportunity. It's not a thousand dollar opportunity. What's going on is Dynamic CRM takes the transaction currency, divides it by the exchange rate, and keeps track of a calculated field that's the opportunity in the base currency. But since you don't see it on the default form, it's hard to understand that at first. And I'll take you back to that in a second. Notice another thing that happens, and Teresa, you got to know this for the test. You save an, a transaction record with the currency, you can't change the currency. That's, that's a lock right now. The only way to change this would be to delete this record and start over in a different currency. Now, how would I know what the dollar value is of this thing? And, and watch what happens. This is kind of funny because if I now go update, let's go to settings, business management, currencies, let's update the exchange rate. Here's the dollar euro exchange rate. You know, suppose it changed from 0.748 to I don't know, 8, so it make it enough to notice a difference. If I save and close, and then I go back to that opportunity, here's my euro opportunity. You're not going to see any difference. It's still a thousand euros. A thousand euros is a thousand euros. What changed is this opportunity's value denominated in dollars, but you can't see that because it's not on the form. But that's why customizations are a good thing, because well, watch what we can do. Let's go customize the opportunity entity. So when you're trying to figure out how this stuff works, this is kind of a good way to see it. If you go to the opportunity entity, open up the form for customization, and right underneath the estimated value field, this estimated revenue right here, I'm going to add another field, and let's add estimated revenue in the base currency. Then you can start to get some insight about what's going on with this. So we'll put estimated revenue, then estimated revenue in the base currency. You'll see that this thing is always going to be a read-only field form. So I'll just do a save and close. And let's publish this so we can see what the impact is going to be. Go to sales, opportunity. Let's go to this euro opportunity now. And you can tell what's going on here. Now this makes it a little bit more obvious. Whatever the exchange rate is, Take the estimated revenue in the transaction currency, divide it by the exchange rate, and here's what we'd have to have in dollars. So $1,335 at this exchange rate is equal to about 1,000 euros. So let's go back and change the exchange rate back. So we go to business management, currencies, and I think it was 0 .748, 0 .7487 That's what it is today, I believe. Go back to that opportunity, and I notice it hasn't changed. That's because there are some very specific rules about when those exchange rates get updated, and they get up updated when a new record is created or when a dollar value changes on this thing. So if I change this estimated revenue, now it would recalculate at this new exchange rate, although I changed it back to the original exchange rate. So let me finish that out, by the way. I could add 
estimated revenue in the base currency here too. If you're going to do a lot of work with multiple currencies, you probably want to do that. You want to add whatever the base currency is for your organization. The key takeaway is that the transaction currency value is what it is. It's divided by the exchange rate, how you get it back to the base currency. Now, let me show you one slight complication to this. If you go to a custom entity like event, remember we had a registration fee on event, but notice on the event form, there's no way to select on this custom entity what currency it is. Now let me show you one thing you could do, it's probably not the best way to do it, but it would solve a problem in a sense. You can go to your tools, options, and notice that as part of your set personal options, you can change, you can select a default currency. So if the system administrator's turned on currencies, multiple currencies, I could choose, say, a euro as my default personal currency and watch what happens now. If I then go and create a new event record, anything that's, that has a money field on it will respect the personal defaults that you've got set. So notice that this will now be in euros, but still it doesn't solve the problem because that's the only thing that I have. Then I can only create events denominated in one currency or the other. So what's the solution? Well, it's another customization. A good customization would be go customize the event. Let's look at our custom entities. And let's add to the form. I go to the form. I want to add another field, and that this is going to be the currency. So anytime I've got a money field for an entity, I can always add. You might not think of this at first, and if you're not working with currencies, it might never occur to you, but you can add the currency, and I can add the registration fee in the base currency. So this will get us two important things. First, we'll select the currency, and depending upon the currency I select, the registration fee will be updated. Then, let's push this right underneath it. Let's move status reason over. So now this is going to be the read-only value of the registration fee in the base currency. So those are all perfectly valid and supported customizations. And there's lots of permutations on the things that I'm talking about here that show up as test questions. So let's just go now and look at our revised event form. So now this is a little bit more flexible because notice that even though my personal default might be euros, I can still select dollars. And if I do, notice the registration fee is now denominated in dollars. And if this is a $100 registration fee for this event, watch what happens with that $100 registration fee. Since it's denominated in dollars, boom, no problem. But notice on a custom entity, I can change the currency. So you've got a little bit more flexibility with custom entities than you do with the built-in, the system transaction entities like opportunity and things like that. If I change it to euros and save it, see the difference now? The division by the, uh, the exchange rate happens and it goes up to 133.5648. So now let's do one more thing. I'm gonna close out on this. Let's go change the exchange rate and see how that takes effect. So we go to business management, go back to our Euro exchange rate, so the Euro dollar exchange rate, so we change that 0.9 so that we can really, we'll really be able to see an impact of that. So I change it there. Now let's go to look both at the, the built-in, the system opportunity entity. Let's see how, it's impact, how it impacts there and then we'll compare that and see if it works the same for custom entities. Okay, so I change the exchange rate a lot, but I come in here and notice estimated revenue it's still the same. It hasn't changed. If Watch what happens if I change that estimated revenue in euros by a penny. As soon as I save this thing, see what happened? Okay, you need to know when those things are applied. So the exchange rates, changes the exchange rates, not like a change in the price in the product catalog. That happens automatically, but exchange rates don't. Exchange rate changes are applied when a dollar value on the field is changed, when a new record is created, or if you closed the opportunity. That would update the exchange rate too. Now that's the built-in. Let's go double check our event that's uh, denominated in euros, so this half-day session. So notice the same thing here. So if I change this to, and say that, that's when the exchange rate change gets applied. That's the way currencies work in a nutshell.